As a benthic ecologist, I study everything that lives on the seabed. So primarily uh, marine invertebrate animals, uh, but everything basically that's involved in the ecosystem that is at the seabed. The Southern Ocean is a, a deep water ocean, so we're, we're talking about depths from 3,000 meters down to 5,000 meters. Uh, essentially, if we're looking at the Southern Ocean south of New Zealand in this Ross Sea to New Zealand sector, we don't know very much. Our voyage on the Tangaroa in 2008 as part of the International um, Polar Year was the first that looked at the, um, the northern continental slope of the Ross Sea and the first that looked at the groups of seamounts which are north of the Ross Sea. Uh, so that gives you perhaps an idea of the state we're at. That's the first exploration, so the first surveys of those seamounts and the first exploration of the fauna that live there. We're, we're just beginning. The main tools that we, we use to, to, to sample these areas, are the, the most useful one we're finding is the um, high definition deep water camera systems that we have. So these, these are, if you like, they're dangled on a wire below the ship. It's, it's relatively straightforward technology in that respect, but it gives us a, a, an immediate picture, you can see here on the screen, of the structure of the community on the seabed. So rather than dragging trawls through it and getting a, a lot of broken animals that might be compressed over several kilometers of seabed, we can get a picture here without destroying anything of how those animals interact with each other and exactly how many of them there are. The biodiversity of the Ross Sea continental shelf area is high, most certainly. But if you want to compare it to other regions in the world, that becomes more problematic because in some groups of animals, uh, such as the sea spiders and the bryozoans. We've got much higher diversity in the Antarctic than elsewhere. And in other groups, particularly the, the crustaceans, so um, things like crabs and lobsters, much lower diversity. So it, it's a balance. And the reason